super tender bites of beef coated with pepper and a beautiful sauce. This is my version of Cambodian pepper beef. Wow, this has got to be one of my favorite ways to eat an awesome cut of steak, right up there with like steak fritz with Thai crying tiger beef. This one you might not have heard of. It's not as commonly known as those others, but it really packs a punch of flavor. All right, let's get into the flavor part. And I'm gonna be using some Cambodian Kampot pepper. So Kampot is a region in Cambodia that is prized for this production of the pepper. So it's got to be from that region to be Kampot pepper. Looks like regular black peppercorns, but it has a really beautiful floral fragrance and aroma, and it's kind of got a milder bite than a very harsh pepper bite. Look, if you can't get Kampot pepper, just go ahead and use regular black pepper. Do try and find it online if you can. It's really good. I want to freshly grind it. Okay, so that's the kind of texture you're after. I quite like this a little bit rough because that beautiful pepper kind of explodes in your mouth as you bite into it with the steak. Now for the steak itself. I'm using a strip loin, also known as a sirloin, depending on where you are. The important thing here is that it's a tender cut of beef, so you could use ribeye, eye fillet, anything like that. The important part here, I think, is the thickness. So I want this to be at least like three centimeters, almost an inch and a half. Um, that way I get some really nice bite-sized cubes. And to that, I'm gonna add some really generous sprinklings here of that Kampot pepper. Now the rest of the marinade ingredients, including a couple of little extras that I've thrown in to keep your beef really soup and tender in the wok. You won't believe how tender this beef is. All right, first up, oyster sauce. Soy sauce. Some dark sweet soy sauce. So this is gonna add a beautiful color to our dish. And now the special ingredients. One is corn flour. So this is gonna not only help to thicken up the sauce so it beautifully coats each piece of beef, but it also provides a little bit of texture on the outside of the beef, making it really silky smooth in your mouth. And some baking soda. The baking soda is gonna help with browning and keeping the beef really super tender. So they're my two little tricky ingredients that will make all the difference. And then finally, some garlic. Give everything a mix. The beef does not need long to marinate. All those ingredients there are super punchy, so they're gonna do their job in record time. The one thing we do need to do before we stir fry is make a little dipping sauce. So you want some of your can pot pepper, and then about an equal amount of salt, and then some lime juice. Give that a mix and that is going to be a beautiful peppy dipping sauce for the end. Now the other secret to keeping your beef really super tender here is you want some punchy heat, really high heat. I want to see this wok smoking before I put any oil in there. If you're using a large non-stick frying pan or a cast iron skillet, that's good too. Just get it hot. A little bit of oil. I want to swirl that around in my pan. And now the beef goes in. Spread that beef out straight away when it hits the pan and then just let it sit half a minute or so just to develop some really good color on that first side. Okay, now give it a bit of a stir fry. Ah, oh, check out that color already. See, that is that baking soda doing its job there. What I like to do is just kind of give it a little bit of a stir fry, then let it sit again, get some more color and just do that a couple of times. And I only wanna give this a couple of minutes. I still want it to be really tender through the middle. That'll give you about a medium. If you want it well done, obviously cook it for a bit longer. So at this point, the beef is almost there. I'm gonna add in my red onion. Now I want some more oyster sauce here to kind of give us some saucy glossiness and some soy sauce and some sugar. Now this should be a fairly dry, stir fry here guys. All I want is that sauce sticking to the beef rather than forming its own little pool of sauce at the bottom. Oh, would you look at that? So beautifully glossy. Now what I like to do is turn the heat off now 
and just let that beef rest a little bit in the pan there while I just finish off the rest of our plate. Now whenever I've eaten this in Cambodia it's come with some beautiful little fresh lettuce leaves and some slices of tomato I don't see any reason for deviating from that. So off we go with some lettuce, slices of tomato. And then that beautiful beef. There you go guys, if it's not a classic yet at your household, it sure will be once you try it. Wow. The pepper, that sauce, mmm, so tender. Amazing. This is such a great way to eat beef. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.